How do you think your service on the Board of Directors will benefit ANNA in supporting the strategic plan as well as the membership? Thank you, Sarah, and thank you for your interest in shaping the future of ANNA. I believe the best way I can support the strategic plan of ANNA is by supporting the membership. The mission statement of ANNA is to promote excellence and appreciation of nephrology nursing. We can make a positive difference for people with kidney disease. I really think the most important word in that statement is the word we. We are the individuals on a daily basis providing care to people living with kidney disease. We are the individuals who are on the front lines and it is we, as a collective unit, who will shape what nephrology nursing becomes in the future. So my most important priority is to tackle the following question. How does ANA become the best we? I believe there are two criteria that we must meet to achieve this goal. One, membership interest focus, and two, harboring advances in technology to promote education and information flow. So let me first discuss membership interest focus. If elected, my priority will be to promote and maintain a culture within the Board of Directors that services our members' needs and wants. I want ANA to be an organization where members feel their thoughts are valued and heard. ANA is only as strong as our members, and therefore empowering members at the individual level ultimately empowers ANA as a whole. The way I plan to achieve this is by making the Board of Directors an accessible entity to our members through the usage of town hall meetings, as well as creating virtual suggestion boxes where members can submit their ideas and thoughts. I believe it's imperative that the Board of Directors create a relationship with the members where members feel comfortable to speak their minds on all issues and believe they are speaking to a board that cares about their ideas and considers and incorporates those ideas in the pursuit of creating an outstanding organization that provides excellent patient care. I'd like to share a story with you why this is so important to me. I have been a nephrology nurse for over 30 years and an a and &E member for as long as I can remember. When I first entered the organization, I held an associate degree for nursing. Because of various mentorships and encouragement from a and &E members, as well as scholarships from a and &E to help with the financial burden of tuition, I went on to receive a bachelor's degree. And later on, with further encouragement and support from a and &E, I ultimately received a master's degree. It was very challenging balancing work, school, and family. And every time I had an issue or needed help, I reached out to a and &E, and they reached back out and helped me. It was through a and &E relationships that helped me further my education, which ultimately empowered me to advance in my career. That is why I believe a and &E is only as strong as our relationships, and why we must focus on creating an a and &E that is completely relationship-focused organization. And I believe it will be my duty as president-elect to encourage this culture starting with the Board of Directors, and then filter it down throughout a and &E membership at large. Going back to creating the best we, the second item I listed was harboring advances in technology to promote education and information flow. A fundamental core of a and &E is for members to continue learning and growing, and the way we achieve that is through providing excellent educational content and doing it in a way where the information flows efficiently and easily. As a nephrology nurse and an a and &E member, I know our jobs are very demanding and our time is extremely limited. At the same time, healthcare is constantly advancing and evolving, and we have to keep learning and growing in order to stay on top of our game. It's a juggling act. Therefore, I plan to incorporate technology to help our members become better jugglers. By creating a stronger website that allows our members to access information that enhances their ability to provide effective patient care and incorporates key updates concerning issues within the nephrology community, it is my goal to optimize our members' time in the most effective way 
and enable and empower them to learn key information as efficiently as possible. I believe AMNA is a great organization. I have seen firsthand the power of what being an AMNA member can do for one's career and life. And it's my firm belief that with my knowledge, skills, and sensitivities to the individual member through my own personal experience, I can help lead AMNA to become an outstanding, groundbreaking organization. Thank you. If asked by ANA members, which would you choose, bacon or chocolate? Sarah, this is a very interesting question, and I would like to point out that the question is not asking me, which would you choose, bacon or chocolate? Rather, the question is asking me, if asked by ANA members, which would you choose, bacon or chocolate? Therefore, in order to answer this question, I would first need to reach out to ANA members and get their thoughts and feelings regarding chocolate, why they think chocolate would be a better choice than bacon, what the situation is where they think chocolate is a superior choice to bacon, how they arrived at chocolate being an option, and so forth. I would then reach out to ANA members and do the same thing for bacon. After that, I would reach out to the other members on the board of directors, present them with members' thoughts and feelings regarding bacon and chocolate. We would review all thoughts and considerations and maybe even consider a third option, like ice cream. And together, we would come to a decision that would best serve the ANA members. Thank you. <laughs> 